So you're sitting here waiting for your upgrade to happen and you're tired of looking at this screen. Well, I can show you how to force that upgrade to happen here. So in this video, part of our Windows 10 series of videos, I'm gonna show you how to force the Windows 10 upgrade. It's actually um, a little more, I believe, tech savvy uh, way of doing this. So you wanna make sure if you're comfortable doing a couple of edits to the registry here, that you'll be okay doing that and doing this upgrade. So let's go ahead and jump into it here. So you wanna go down here, you wanna make sure you have this icon and this uh, get Windows 10 icon showing up and you reserve your copy once you've done that. You want to go ahead and right click down here next to the start menu and you want to go to run and you would just go to type in run if you're using Windows 7 and then you would open up reg edit and that's what you want to type in here when run comes up click OK go ahead and approve here and once you see that you're going to see the registry editor and we're gonna to have to go to a few specific places here within the registry editor so we're going to one place but before we do that we're gonna go ahead and back everything up so we're gonna go ahead and file we're gonna hit export we're gonna back up our whole registry. Just in case anything messes up, if you do something wrong, you'll have a backup available for you just to reset it whenever you get the chance. So you can either save that locally or save it to maybe a flash drive or something, but just hit save. And we should get a confirmation soon once it finishes backing up the registry. Depending on how big your registry is, it might take a little bit of time. But um, we wanna just have that backed up just in case, which we just did there. So that's complete. So once you have the registry open up here, you have it backed up. What you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go ahead and go to H key local machine. And then we're gonna go to software. You wanna go down to Microsoft. We're gonna go down to where it says Windows. From here, you wanna go to current version. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says Windows update. Here. And then you wanna go to where it says OS upgrade. Now, if this key doesn't exist here, you're gonna to wanna to create it, which it probably doesn't. So we're gonna go ahead, right click on here. In this area, we're gonna to go to new. We're gonna to go to D word 32 bit value. And click that and we're gonna call this allow OS upgrade, all one word, allow OS upgrade. Click enter. And we're gonna to want to make this a certain uh, value. And we're going to want to use a hexadecimal value. So we're going to want to make this value 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Basically, all the zeros that you can put up, back up one here, all the zeros, and then put one right there. And that's what you want to set the value as. You're going to hit OK. And you should see here we set the, the, the value of 0x0000001, similar to how kickoff download here is. Once you've done that, you click OK. And now that's set. I'm going to go ahead and exit out here. And what we want to do right click on check your uh, um, go to Windows updates right here we'll pop that up and you'll see your set automatically to get updates hit check for updates and what should eventually happen here is when it checks out it should find the Windows 10 upgrade yep there it is upgrade to Windows 10 so we're going to go ahead and click the, click the get started and you can start the process from there to show how much the download is so that's pretty much the way to force the upgrade of windows 10 should be pretty easy pretty simple for a lot of people to do and in the next video we're going to go ahead and go through that process so stay tuned for that so this is bowman here from bw1 be sure to check out our other videos in the windows 10 series i want to thank you for watching and always remember to live your tech world in high definition